Beneath one of Europe's most beautiful cities, something extraordinary is happening. The ground is moving again under Naples and Pozzuoli. At first, it's subtle. A faint tremor you might mistake for a passing truck or the soft rattle of dishes on a shelf. But lately, the vibrations have become more frequent, almost rhythmic, as if the Earth itself has a pulse. For seven weeks now, small earthquakes have rippled through this region, 2.5, 2.7, sometimes 3.0 in magnitude. They come in clusters, separated by only minutes or seconds. And they're not isolated. They're part of a deep, ongoing process within one of the most complex volcanic systems on Earth, Campi Flegre, the Flegrean Fields. Unlike a tall volcano with a visible peak, Campi Flegre is a vast underground caldera, a bowl-shaped landscape stretching quietly beneath streets, homes, and the blue waters of the Bay of Naples. Most people walking their dogs, cooking dinner, or catching a bus in Pozzuoli may not realize they're living above a sleeping giant. The science of the shake. What's happening underground is known as bradycism, a slow but measurable rise of the land caused by gases and fluids building up in magma chambers below. The latest data shows the ground here is lifting about 2.5 centimeters per month. It may not sound like much, but it's a sign that the pressure is changing. The Earth doesn't rise on its own. It swells because something underneath is expanding. At the Solfatara crater, where steam vents hiss and bubble, the temperature has been recorded at more than 170 degrees Celsius. That heat is a window into what's happening below. A reminder that Campi Flegre is alive. Scientists have seen this before. In the early 1980s, the land rose by nearly two meters causing cracks to open in roads and walls. More than 30,000 people were evacuated from Pozzuoli at the time. Eventually, the ground settled, and the crisis passed. Now, the pattern is reappearing. But the signals are slightly different. The ground isn't just rising. It's doing so in smaller, faster steps. The earthquake swarms are shorter, but more frequent. And this time, the magma seems closer to the surface. A city above fire and sea, Naples is home to more than 6 million people in the greater metropolitan area. About half a million of them live inside what scientists call the red zone, the most at-risk area if activity increases. Another 800,000 live in the yellow zone, where ash and gas could travel in the event of an eruption. But it's important to be clear, scientists are not predicting a major eruption what they are saying is that the system is restless, and when the Earth speaks, it's wise to listen. Campi Flegre doesn't behave like Mount Vesuvius, its more famous neighbor. Instead of one central vent, it releases energy through dozens of scattered craters, fumaroles, and underwater outlets. When pressure builds up, it can release suddenly in what's called a phreatic explosion a burst of steam and rock caused when groundwater meets superheated gas. These events are typically small but unpredictable, and that's what makes them worth watching carefully. Lessons from the past. Human history here has always been intertwined with the volcano. The Romans called it the Fields of Fire. They built temples around its hot springs, believing the warm ground was a gateway to the underworld. Ancient texts describe eruptions that reshaped the coastline and created new lakes. Even parts of the modern city sit on land that rose from the sea centuries ago. The people of Naples have lived with this force for millennia, resilient, resourceful, and deeply connected to the landscape. But resilience can sometimes blur into routine. After many years without a major eruption, the idea of risk can fade into the background. When small earthquakes hit, most residents simply carry on. For many, this is normal. Shops stay open. Tourists still walk through the crater at Solfatara, where steam rises like breath from the earth. And that's part of the challenge. How do you keep awareness alive without causing alarm? The role of science and trust. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology monitors Campi Flegre around the clock. They track earthquakes, gas emissions, 
and ground deformation using satellites and sensors placed across the region. Their goal is simple, to detect patterns before they turn into problems. But data alone isn't enough. For early warnings to work, people need to believe in them. And that means communication must be open, honest, and consistent. False alarms in the past have made some residents skeptical. Others fear the economic effects of an evacuation that turns out to be unnecessary. This is where trust becomes as important as technology. The more the community understands the science, the more it participates in drills and discussions, the safer everyone becomes. Preparedness doesn't have to mean panic. It means knowing what to do, where to go, and why it matters. Small actions, big impact. In the Bay of Naples, floating buoys serve as part of the tsunami warning system. They measure subtle changes in sea movement that could indicate an underwater event. But recently, several of these buoys have been damaged or removed by local boaters unaware of their purpose. It's a small story that reflects a bigger truth. Safety depends on collective responsibility. Every instrument, every signal, every decision, they all add up. When people understand why those tools exist, they're more likely to protect them. A path forward. Some scientists and community leaders have proposed turning parts of Campi Flegre into a protected national park. The idea isn't just about safety. It's about respect. Protecting the land could reduce risky construction, promote responsible tourism, and create educational opportunities for future generations. Imagine guided walks where visitors learn about the volcano's history, its ecology, and its science. Not as a threat, but as a living system that has shaped human civilization. This kind of awareness transforms fear into knowledge and knowledge into resilience. The heart of the message the situation beneath Naples doesn't call for panic. It calls for attention, for curiosity, for action rooted in science and empathy. Volcanoes don't speak our language, but they do send signals through tremors, heat, and the slow rise of the Earth. Each is a message from below, reminding us of the planet's incredible, unpredictable life. What happens next depends not on fear, but on how we listen, on how well we use what we already know, on how we prepare together long before we're asked to react. Naples, with its art, its music, its humanity, has always lived between the fire of Vesuvius and the waves of the Tyrrhenian Sea. That balance is part of its beauty and its strength. So when the ground stirs, remember, it's not just the sound of danger. It's the heartbeat of the earth reminding us to stay awake, stay informed, and stay united. Because understanding what lies beneath our feet isn't just science. It's survival. And it's love for the place we call home.